Hello and welcome to Thinkation 2021 again. And I can tell you for free that Thinkation is going to keep going on and on and on because the king lives on. I'm quite excited about the fact that, you know, the team, the Ubon King Foundation has decided to put this together. And um, we're doing this, you know, because Ubong definitely made an impact on every single one of us. If you're just meeting Ubong through this conference, I want you to let you know that you are meeting one of the greatest beings that walked upon the face of the earth. Ubong was a lion in many ways, all right? I met Ubong sometime in 2016, and he had just made a decision then to move beyond what he had done, which was security, and moving into the new face of, you know, impacting the youth of Nigeria and Africa. And in four years, what Ubong has done, many people that have been in that field have not accomplished that. I think that Ubong was silently letting us know that, you know, um, we have the capacity to do so much more than even people are celebrating us for. And I'm quite excited about the theme for today, which is Dare to Fly. I'll say this to you, that Ubong's messages have always blessed me. But the biggest message I think that Ubong preached, personally, that I will never ever forget, was preached on the day that he transitioned, and that's the message of legacy. To let you know that no matter how long you live on earth, that at some point you're going to have to leave this face of earth and move into something bigger. Like I know that he's doing right now. I can imagine Ubong troubling angels, troubling people, causing trouble, you know, because it just can't stop. You know, but what I'll say this, you know, is to you is that, you know, he preached a hefty message. And that message is that while you are alive, that you can fly. And that's the premise of what I want to share for the few minutes that I have with you today in this conference. Dare to fly is the theme. And when we say dare to fly, it means that most people never ever get to fly while on earth. We have to ask them to dare. To dare means to be courageous, to go beyond your fear, to do that which you're afraid of in spite of the fear that you have. And therefore, I want you to understand that most people never ever dare to fly. Flying requires you leaving everything that you are comfortable with to pursue what you are, the possibilities that are ahead of you. And most people will stay with what is comfortable. I tell people that, look, apart from flying, there are two other things people do. Most people are trying to survive. They're just trying to walk, just trying to make a movement. And I think that more than 90% of people on earth are actually designed by conditioning to just exist. Ubon did not just exist. I trust, learn, trust me, if Ubon just merely existed, we will not be having thinkation. Think about that, okay? And the fact remains that, you see, what we're celebrating about his life is what he did while he was here. What are you doing while you are here? Are you just staying somewhere, stationary, being comfortable in your comfort zone that is basically limiting your capacity? Or are you doing what the second set of people do? And that is beyond going beyond comfort, they are going into competition. Yes, they are running. But ladies and gentlemen, hear me. Whether you are moving forward or not is not a premise of movement, but it has to do a lot with direction. Are you moving in the direction in which your life is meant to be moving? Ubon clearly, I remember that conversation. We were somewhere in Calabar in the hotel. I was there. Ini Abims was there. Beverly Naya was there. Um, Kola Oyenei joined us much later and so some other person. And he said, you know what, that he had just been thinking about life and that God gave him that leading that he should leave what he was comfortable with and not just compete, but fly. And he made that decision and he never ever looked back. I wonder what potentials and capabilities, possibilities that you are allowing to remain dormant or you are putting aside just to compete with other people. When you end life, you realize that the biggest competition is not with others, but with yourself. What you can be, what you should be, what you must be, but unfortunately for some people, what they will never ever become. So I want to just urge you that you must decide to live life in a way that you are able to live a legacy. It was what Ubon did while he was on this side of eternity that we are able to reference. What are you doing to give us reference after you have lived a long and full life? Every single day, you now you must understand your life is dished out in days. Therefore, the optimization of days is what produces the optimization of life. Every single day matters. And that's why a wise man once said, teach us to number our days so that we can apply our hearts to wisdom. So, Jimmy, 
you have shared many things. How exactly do we begin to produce legacy? First and foremost, I'll say this to you, that legacy, it's a mindset. Every single person that you find that has transitioned, some days ago, we're still talking about Kobe's one year, you know, transition and all that. And really and truly, the legacy that you share with the people is essentially around what I call aim. Number one, A is achievements that you have had. Basically, you can't just be on the face of the earth and not do something significant. How will we know that you came? So you must have achievements in your field. You must be in the right field. I hope you know that by now, that you know, and Ubon talks about tribes, different kind of tribes. What tribe do you belong to? Who are you? Understand yourself and then maximize yourself. You must have achievements. No, no, next thing is that you must have impact. You must make impact on people. People remember you based on the influence you had on them. A lot of people don't make impact on people. A lot of people are just there trying to do their own thing. And while it is great to do your own thing, you recognize that the greatest benefit to life is not what you enjoy, but what you cause others to enjoy around you. And so you must live a life of impact. While income is great, income is actually a tool many times for you to amplify the impact. Because when you go, your income is not coming with you. It stays behind. But what we remember you is for the impact that you made. The last one is M, the memories you create. I have memories in Ubong. The night I went to his house until about 12.30 p.m., he sat with me because I was in a very confused state in my life. Yes, even speakers get to that point, but he was there. I remember vividly him, you know, um, sending somebody the following day. He bought a book. That book is somewhere in my library here. And bought a book for me just to encourage me. That memory stays with me. The last time that we spent time together was earlier in 2020. I was in Ghana and he said, oh, Jimmy, e -wo -e -wo. that's what he would say to me. And then he said, oh, that he was in America. He's coming to Ghana. And then I was staying in a particular hotel. He asked me to move to his own hotel. I was staying in room 5006. He was in 5009. And, you know, it was just that memories. Guys, hear me. The time we have on earth, what people remember is what you fix in the memory. So make sure you have good memories. Treat people kindly. Treat people as kings. Treat people as lions. Understand that every single person you come across has great potential that they can actually express on earth. So let me begin to wrap up by sharing three things that will enable you to be able to live a life of legacy. The first one. And when I say legacy, I'm talking about daring to fly. Legacy doesn't belong to everybody. Everybody lives, but not everybody lives a legacy. You are either living a legacy, L-I-V-E, -E, before you are able to live a legacy, L-E-A-V-E. -E. Let me say that again. You must intentionally live. So legacy is not what happens when you die. It is what is happening every single day. You live a legacy, L-I-V-E, -E, in order to be able to L-E-A-V-E -E, a legacy, live a legacy. So how can you live a legacy? The first one is called living a vision-driven life. Ubon said to me many years ago, he said, See, Jimmy, I am sent to the youth of Africa. And he did not play with it. People would talk about how he came to their school, how he made investments, how he did that and all that. He had a clear vision. His vision is what was driving his daily activities. My question, and remember that question they ask anytime you do interviews, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? That is a capability that God gave man and not any other animal. Even lions in the forest have no vision. You are designed to have a vision. Are you living your life by competition or just trying to survive or you are driven by a vision it is an awareness of who you are i wrote that something here that vision is an inner discovery of outer relevance i'll say that again vision is an inner discovery of outer relevance where you understand why you are here on the surface of the earth it will drive your daily activities the second one is called imagination and what is imagination? Because you see, when it comes to legacy, many of you are doing some things intentionally now because you have seen Ubong and many other people do those things. And that is how legacy is instilled or installed in your mind by having the right imagination. By the way, your imagination is limited to the degree of exposure you have. So I always define imagination 
as outer exposure to cause inner discovery. Hear me, many things Ubong has done. I have a foundation. Guess what? Ubang, Ubong's name is on my foundation. It's a foundation member of the board of my foundation. And I'm not removing that name, legally speaking, whatever they want to do. All right? But I realized that I had to create a foundation because I saw him do it and he did it very, very well. So imagination actually steers this legacy thing because many times when people transition into glory, we are like, oh, I will live my life better. I will do better. But two weeks after, life goes on. The only way that you can keep that going is keeping the right imagination in front of you so that that way you have the legacy mindset and you consistently dare to fly. So imagination is the outer exposure or the outer steering that causes inner discovery. The last one is called association. And for you to be in this conference, you are associating with some of the greatest humans that lived on the surface of the earth. Somebody says, oh wow, are you saying that the people that are not on this conference are not great? <laughs> everybody potentially can be great, but not everybody will be great. But the fact you're in a conference like this, not just any conference, but a conference like Thinkation tells me that there's something that is stirring, something that is roaring, something that's trying to find expression in your life. And therefore, I know that you are very particular about association. But let me say this to you. By Ubong being in my life and sometimes calling me and say, Jimmy, where are you there? I said, my home. He said, I can't carry you. And then we we'll go in the car. And then he takes me to his office and shows me this and shows me that. Guys, hear me. Association, hear me, is the outer environment for sustained conditioning. A lot of people start and stop. Start and stop. You know why you stop? Because your environment does not support what you are carrying on the inside of you. The powerful thing is not the seed. Usually, powerful seeds die in wrong environments. So, association is the environment that would help you to become all that you are meant to be. As you proceed from thinkation, I want to encourage you to keep the association called the Ubon King Foundation. There's a lot more that's going to come from this association. But beyond that, Think about the kind of dreams you have and understand that there are environments that kill dreams and environments that set dreams on fire. I believe that Thinkation will continue consistently and will always, in many ways, keep the dream called you on fire. Remember that you is an acronym. It means Y-O-U. You owe us. Don't leave this world without delivering on what you owe us. I'm just your boy, like Ubang will say, Jimmy Terry. Have an amazing day. Bye.